Hey YouTube, it's WPB Teacher 8. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. So my LV lovers out there probably won't be too interested in this video, but today I'm going to do a review on my mother's Gucci tea and tote. She has had this for a year and she has worn it every day for a year. And I had to grab it off of her to do a video. The um, unboxing for this video is my second most popular video on YouTube. And some of the people had asked me to do a review on it and the wear and tear. So I'm going to do that today. And she's had it for a year and she's literally worn it every single day for a year. Like she didn't even want to take it off, but I told her she had to switch so I could do a review. So a little bit of background. I don't know if you know or not, but I had um, a Louis Vuitton purse I gave to my mom and it's this one. It's the limited edition Kusama tote. And I was in a position where I wanted to give my mom a bag because I had not a whole lot, but quite a few. And this was the one she picked. Now, of course, this is one of my favorite ones, but you know, you do whatever you can for your mom. So she picked this bag and she only wore it a few times and then it was just sitting in her closet. So I said, mom, you know, you can't just have it sit in your closet. You have to use it. She's like, well, I'm afraid I'm gonna get it dirty. So anyways, I just let time go by and I kind of wanted a new bag, so I ordered this. So I had planned on buying this for me. And I hadn't bought anything Gucci in a long time and I liked the pattern and the design and the birds and all that other stuff. So I bought this bag and then when I got it in, um, I used it for a couple days and I liked it, but I wasn't totally sure about the print. I didn't know if it was too busy for me, even though I do wear a lot of like plain uh, clothes that don't have pattern on it. I just wasn't sure about it. So anyways, my mom had come over and I showed her this bag and she died. She was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. So I'm like, okay, so do you want to trade and you give me this bag back and then I give you this one? And she was like, okay. <laughs> so we were both happy. I got my bag back and then she got this one. And like I said, she loves it so much. She's worn it every day for a year. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the wear and tear after a year. I must say, that um, I don't know which side she was using as the front and the back, but either way, they both look really, really good. Like none of the pattern, I'm gonna try and zoom up. None of the pattern is rubbing off, chipping, peeling. There's not even any like color transfer or anything. Of course, this is kind of a good print to not have color transfer, but literally the canvas in this area still looks brand new like it did from day one. So I'm just gonna roll over here and then I'll do the back side too. So it is held up really, really well. Let me go to the back, okay. The color is still vibrant. It doesn't look like it's faded anywhere. It's, it like, the canvas literally looks really good. Let me show you the bottom. And you know, the bottom's the part that's gonna get the dirtiest. And literally, it still looks brand new. So, that's good news. Now, the only place I've seen um, wear is, of course, the corners. So I'm gonna show you guys the corners. The corners have turned, um, See if I can get this focused in the background. The corners have turned white, where you can see the color has rubbed off, but still, I mean, since there's white in the bag, it doesn't look that bad. But, and I can tell when I feel it, it's still, it feels a little um, worn, you know, like thin. I don't think it's at the point where it'd get a hole in it, but it does feel a little thin. So there's one. This one's not as much, this is two. There's the third one, so that one looks a little bit more than the other one. All right, okay, and the last one. So you can see that one's a little bit worn right there. But you know, from far away, you can't, you don't really notice. I mean, you can see, but it's it's not that bad. Let me see if I can get to focus, there we go. So it just kind of looks like it's part of the design. I mean, if she really wanted to, she could get like, 
Sharpie marker or something and fill it in and nobody would ever know. But that's the only wear I've seen actually on the canvas. Um, the other area um, I've seen the most wear is on the handles. So the fronts, as far as the fronts, they look really good. I guess I should call them the chaps here. The chaps look good. Um, and going up the strap looks good. And you know, this is where she's grabbing it the most and it still looks not dirty. I, you can tell they must have some sort of a little bit of a clear coating. Um, and then of course it's it's got glazing kind of like Louis Vuitton's do. And this is where I've seen the wear. Let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so there's a little bit of wear here. You can kind of see where it's, um, I guess it's, I don't know if you would call it cracking, but it just looks like it's fraying a little bit. So that's one side. Here's the other. So, you know, you can definitely tell it's, it feels like the glazing's cracked from it bending back and forth. Let me do the other one. So yeah, there's a little bit of fraying there. And you know, I don't know if Gucci does repairs like Louis Vuitton does, but my closest Gucci store is three hours away, so I'm not planning on going there anytime soon. But I think for one year, literally wearing it every single day, I still think it looks pretty good. I mean, even if you got a Chanel or Louis Vuitton or a Mez, you wear it every single day for a year, it's gonna have some wear and tear. This one actually looks pretty good. That side looks good. So anyway, so the straps, and like I said, the straps look pretty good. Now, as far as the inside, I don't know if you guys saw my other video. I'm going to try and put this so as a light. <laughs> She's got some sort of glitter stuff in here. Um, I think she had, <laughs> she probably had some Christmas stuff in here. Um, the lining is holding up really well, but my mom is not the best when it comes to keeping things clean. I think she has some pen marks in here. Like there's one right there. Because she was like, I have some pen marks inside. I'm like, it's okay. Look, she got one there. And she hasn't tried to clean them up or anything, um, but that's just, you know, her. So the lining doesn't have any rips or holes. Um, it's just, it is a little bit worn, especially here. Let me show you. It's just dirty. It's not really worn, but you can tell up here at the top, it's a little bit darker from, you know, her arms or whatever rubbing to get things on the inside. And um, the pocket's doing really good. I don't know if I can do the zipper. The zipper was always kind of a little bit tough to do. But anyway, so the, the, I don't think I can do this with one hand. I'll try and, I don't want to rip it. But anyways, the pocket's good too. Like I said, it just has some pen marks inside. So, and that's where she put her cell phone. So you can kind of see the little outline. But it's kind of nice that the lining's brown because like I said, it doesn't show like dirt that much. And she could probably get some cleaner and clean it up a little bit, but honestly I think for a year it's held up really well so and and I'm impressed by the pattern too that it has um, not chipped or anything um, sometimes you know when things rub against your body it would wear down I know the Louis Vuitton purses do that sometimes this must have a really good clear coat on it for it not to do that so that's just my two cents I wanted to show you guys how it's done after a year so that if you guys were interested um, on how it's held up. It's actually done really, really well, and I would recommend this bag. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. Thanks.